Okay, so here's a super quick one. This is another tip that was uh, shown to me by a PA named Cake One. And so I got a simple scene here with um, just a camera in it. The camera's selected. So if I zoom out, you can see my camera here. And so if you wanted to play with uh, focal depth or depth of field or anything like that, you would go into your parameters pane into your camera and you turn depth of field on. And then by moving focal distance, you can see that it moves and you can see that it changes the width. Now that can be kind of tricky to line up, especially in bigger scenes. If you want to really have a clean look and say the head's here, body's here, and trying to line that up can be kind of tricky. So you can actually go to display on the camera and you see this here, focal point scale. So right now it's 100% and you can change it to 200%. You can see this little X here gets bigger. You can click on this little gear here and it will open up parameter settings. So you can see this window pops up here and you'll see a bunch of different values. So max value, which is the current value, raw, default, things like that. Now these parameter settings are available for a lot of sliders. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change max to something like 10,000 and then change current value to 10,000. We're gonna hit accept. So now what you see is this, this X is huge. So that can be super valuable when you're trying to line things up because now you can see an angle or on the front, you can see exactly where that's lining up. So now if you go back into camera and change your focal distance, really lets you dial in the precision of your focal distance. So that's a super quick, super handy little tip. Hopefully that was helpful.